We are the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2023 and with us is one of the newcomers to the contest. It's André Portelli. Nice to meet you, André. Same here. Nice to be on your show. Thank you for having me. It's a very exciting moment for me now. So, uh, first time in Eurovision. I really hope to deliver and I hope you get to enjoy. For the first time, you're doing this really well. We saw it yesterday on the stage, on the rehearsal already. So, what triggered you to, to come into this competition? Okay, um, I followed it ever since I was a young boy here in Malta. It's very, very popular as a contest. Um, and through the years, I, I actually got to perform on stages with all of the various artists you know, who performed over the years. So, my musical career took me on those stages. The fact that I'm here today is exceptional. That I'm sharing such a platform with these artists is, is great. Over the years, what were your favorites of the Malta Eurovision Song Contest? Okay, well, I definitely, I love the Chris and Moira, mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, and then, I mean, you have legends like Mike Spiteri, you know, and, and, and even Fabrizio, who, who's with us again this year. So, yeah, I mean, when you grow up listening to them, like, they all leave an imprint in your mind. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a newcomer to this contest, and there's going to be a, a lot of people watching it, not only in here in Malta, but also people follow it online it's like millions of people watching so how do you cope with this pressure on, on you I don't I actually just woke up now from a good rest in the changing room so it's it's exhausting mm -hmm. um, but I have a really good support structure I have a, a very good team of friends um, which really help out so it, it, it's just it makes the experience so much more enjoyable so like a good power nap would be your recipe to, to uh, pressure to cope with pressure to cope with the pressure uh, a power nap a power nap and support you need okay. the right support to keep you cool and grounded and calm mm -hmm. how, how would you class your musical style that you perform okay this particular song is electronic dance music mm -hmm. so f this is more of a club tune um, my genre is slightly different um, it, it varies it's more the pop rock mm -hmm. I think it's verging more on the American rock uh, so this is a new experience and a new style, um, but I'm lucky to work with Toby Faruja, mm -hmm. great producer from Toby Music and uh, Toby Music Productions, and David Casartore, Johnny, guitarist, long-time friend, I've mm -hmm. performed with in various arenas, so it's exciting to be with them. Well, Malta, it's pretty tough to get into the narrow selection of the Malta Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, there were like over 200 songs being submitted to PBS. You made it within the top 40. So what was your, your reaction when you received that information? I'm part of it. I was stunned. I thought it was a, a joke. I actually thought David was pranking me when he said, Ah, oh, did you check your email? You're true. I'm like, yeah. Um, but then when, I, when, it, when it hit, it really hit. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible, you know, to be shortlisted. And now even more you know we're at the semi-finals now so we've moved on to another phase so it's it's overwhelming now you have some eurovision performers in uh, the contest like fabrizio did you speak to him and say how, how, how should i do it best like get advice from him actually um i did ask uh, glenn who is one oh, of the presenters yeah. with amber um who i again i was blessed enough over the years to share the stage with, with in various occasions uh so obviously as a friend i said you know what what should I do? And, and, and he gave me tips. Paul Gerdemeyer gave me tips. We have great mentors. Paul, Moira, Ludwig, um, Mike. So there's so much support even within the structure of MESC 2023 that it really helps to get the act together. Especially for a newcomer like me, you know, with no sponsors, no makeup artists, no directors of, of choreography, nothing at all. Just, you know, Toby, David, myself, the song, which I really hope hits home. Let's talk about the song. Uh, what is it called and uh, uh, what's the message you're trying to bring over to the audience? Okay, it's a message of resilience. The, the song is called Broken Hill because it represents the journey that you go through in life. A journey which is made of struggles and difficulties, you know, and hurt and betrayal. There's a lot of that. Um, the song focuses on the side of when you're really hurt and down because you've been betrayed, whether from a friend or even betraying yourself by not being true to who you really are. Um, but Again, over time through the journey, if you build character and resilience through these experiences, it will allow you to overcome, you know, to climb that hill. You realize when you um, do well, you go into the final, and then you're going to sing again the song on Saturday in the final of Malta Eurovision. And if you win that, you're heading off to Liverpool to represent Malta at Eurovision. Uh, so what is your knowledge about the Eurovision Song Contest? What, what are your favorites, your first moments watching it? Wow, okay, well, 
actually it's it's the size the impact of the show that really always got to me it's such a massive platform and now even more with social media and in the interplay you start realizing the amount of people watching you from all over the world that to me is in itself an impressive platform to be on fabulous and any favorite songs from your vision history yeah well i have this I'm, i'm passionate about italian music so i like moneskin and um, the mahmoud and blanco with, with brividi those were for me great songs Wow, nice, nice. And uh, I know that many singers in Malta don't live off music only, but you have to have another job. So what, what do you do in your other life? Okay, I'm, I'm a, a lead consultant for an advisory firm. Mm -hmm. And actually, I want to take the occasion to thank all my colleagues, my staff, uh, the, the, the friends, really, uh, the bosses, you know, the partners of the firm who supported me, who pushed me and who promoted me and who allowed me to actually take some time off to be here. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're well, literally a couple of hours away from the, the show itself, uh, the semi-final. How will the last preparations be for you tonight? Okay, right now it's all about focus, calm, some tea with honey and lemon, some vocal exercises, peace and quiet, and then just hit the stage. Fabulous. All the best of luck, André Fortelli at the Malta Eurovision Song Contest. Thank you very much. Grazie, Hafner. Bye-bye.